Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you for joining us today here at Sister to Sister. We're hoping that our conversation will just add some joy, some insight, a bit of entertainment as well. Thanks again for tuning in. Welcome again for joining us here at Sister to Sister. We have Yakuba in the studio this time around. She's visiting family, so it's good to have her here. And so she has obliged me um, to have this time and do an interview. Mm, interview. Her. An interview. So we're going to see. Well, first of all, we want to thank everybody who has subscribed to this thank channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. We want to say a big thank you for that and also for returning to watch each episode as it gets Yes, published on YouTube. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. You know, we're starting off small, but we're praying that this show will eventually develop and just be a blessing to everybody who hears both man, woman, female, male, Everyone. young, yeah. old, everybody across the board. So we appreciate you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit it so that you'll be notified when new videos come in. So, Jacoba, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> well, uh, we don't really have anything planned as usual. Cause, and, cause, and you know why we don't exactly have, we have something, but we don't have something? Because the whole, I don't know how many, maybe an hour, I've been trying to set the studio it's up. serious. The right lighting. It's serious. The, the, <laughs> the angle of the other camera, yada, yada, yada. We were trying to do it outside. The lighting, the wind, the bees, the flies, the things, mosquitoes, things. they're just all in there. So, um, yeah, we're, we're back in the studio. Hopefully, uh, this goes over good and well. Yes. Um, yeah, there's so many hot topics out there today. Uh, my sister, number one, she is actually in the process of relocating hmm. from Calgary to Ottawa, well, to Ontario. Yes, as the Lord leads. As <laughs> the Lord leads. Okay, so right now she doesn't have a job, like, for sure, for sure. But yes. that's not a problem because getting a job is a you piece know, of cake. God has it covered. God mm -hmm. has it He's covered. covering it all. He's covering it all. And, and uh, disclaimer, um, just because somebody <laughs> is doing something doesn't mean that you also have to do it the same exact way or do it, or do it at all. True. You must be led by the spirit of god truth, truth. you must be led by the spirit of god it might be very okay for one person to do it but when you do it you find that mm, things are looking a bit of a hot mess in a way looking mm -hmm. a hot mess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway yeah so how has that been how are you feeling i know you were in bc with josh that's our brother yeah and having a nice vacation over there and now you are making a pit stop here in Humboldt, saskatchewan Woo! <laughs> this is I tell you I've lived in several cities and places all over and by far Humboldt is my best my best place you don't um, understand it but yeah it's not it's not understood but um, yeah it's the truth I think where God plans you you'll just feel a sense of you know this is where I'm supposed to be and you're so right yeah I think that has to be it because <laughs> Well, well, I do have to admit, um, I've lived in Humboldt 10 years. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah. It's the longest I've lived long. anywhere. Yeah, it's the longest long. I've lived anywhere. And um, I did not always, you know, I would come and visit mom and dad when, you know, I was living in Calgary. Yes. Every three months, every four months. Stay for three days and then out the door. Stay for three days because at the time, I, I was in my late 20s. At the time, it was just so too quiet for me, too calm for me, slow for me, mm -hmm. too slow. I, I think at that time, even having my provider, my phone bill provider, it didn't even work. I didn't get a signal. Oh, serious? That yeah. was back in the day then? That was back in the day. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, 10, no, even more than that, when I would come and visit mom and dad. That was like 2007, 2008. Yeah, wow. 2007, 2008, yeah, the other so night. Yeah, so I, I, I could only last t two days, three days. But now yes. I've lived here for 10 years. And it's the best place I've lived so far. And like my sister is saying, <laughs> like my sister is saying, hey. when God wants you in a certain place, 
He'll make a he, way. He will make a way. He'll make a way. The things that maybe you didn't like before, he'll give you the grace to like him. And so, yeah, it's, it's, true. it's, 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 it's true. been a process, but uh, yeah, I found my calling here. I found my destiny here in Humboldt. It's just been, it's been a wild ride. Mm-hmm. Wonderful wild mm-hmm. ride. But uh, yeah, so what else is yeah, going well, on? I'm actually very impressed with your setup because uh, every, everything has been over Zoom. Girl. And uh, so I just have to, you know, put some small makeup on, look in the, you know, the camera, and it's good. But you have been like putting the lights, the green screen, Girl. setting up the angles, Girl. and I'm just like, uh, this is a win. Girl, it it's, is, it's a, work. It, it is work. a work, which is why maybe it might not look like we're too prepared. It's because I've, I've been like sweating bullets trying to, the angles and stuff. And I was hoping that, you know, my sister would have, uh, you know, like everything is just on her to get this move and get this show going here. This is where we are. This but are. this is where we are. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there's this that came to me this morning. Maybe it's to help somebody out there. Discouragement. How to deal with discouragement. I get discouraged. Mm. Hmm. That's when you're discouraged. At, and we're going to be speaking from a Christian point of view. Um, yeah, just because... We're both Christians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and uh, Christianity is not just something you say. It's something that you do. It, you practice it. You practice it. Just like the way doctors practice medicine. Mm-hmm. We practice what we believe, uh, which is the Bible. And at times, we must be honest, it's not that easy. I mean, boy. Right. It can right. be a challenge it at can. times. But that's why the Holy Spirit is there. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, um, I didn't want it to start out so seriously, but... This is what came to me this morning, you know, and I was like, hmm. That's okay. a good topic. That's a good topic. How do you deal with, deal with discouragement when you're discouraged, especially uh, as a believer? Yeah. Well, I feel like one of the main things that I can get discouraged about is when I feel like I'm behind, I'm not getting as much done, um, mm-hmm. Like I'm not accomplishing or achieving certain things and life is just slow. I can get discouraged. Um, And even just yesterday, I was uh, talking with the Lord about it. And uh, I don't know how I got to this passage in the Bible. And I didn't even know. I think I knew it was in the Bible, but I... it, It became a saying, do not despise small things or small beginnings. So good. And... And I even think about what you've set up here. Like you started small, like didn't really know well, how to work the, you know, the camera stuff. And now well, this is a production. I feel like a bit nervous because it seems like, really? oh yeah, I'm like, this get out of here. This is like a professional. Are you into, like, serious? To sit properly. We should do behind like, the scenes and you should see what this place actually looks like here. I mean, I'm serious. It, it may look intimidating, but... I tell you, this is all Amazon. This is all serious. Amazon quality. And these like generous friends who mm. have contributed because the, where, where is the money coming from for mm. all of this? You know? Let's keep this thing moving. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it started off really, really slow. And to tell you the truth, I, I was like, why am I doing this? This is crazy. Hmm. Yes. I was like, what am I doing? You know, because I'm a minister, a minister at church, we had to come up with different ideas. It was very challenging during the pandemic, which we are trying to escape out of. Um, how to get ministry out there, how to right, deliver, right, 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 how to package right. ministry. We have to repackage hmm. how we do ministry. And so, okay, I was like, okay, I got to get cameras. I got to get a mic. I got to get this. I got to get... And then you go to Amazon and then you see this is a bit better than what you already have. And so... You can you, you know, like, mm-hmm. okay, maybe I should get this. And wow. I ordered the, the lighting and I'm studying on YouTube what what you need. Intense. Oh, Intense. Because I remember well. coming the first time and you had set this up and I was like, what's happening? Like, right. what's happening here? This is this is looking good. This is looking good. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You know, mom said, this is about a, maybe two or three years before the pandemic. Mom okay. said she had a dream. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And, and our mother, she doesn't dream like that. I think my sister and I, we're the ones, we're the dreamers yeah, probably, yeah. in the family. Yeah. Um, but anyway, she she said she had a dream. And we live in a commercial building, so the, the, the top part is where we reside, my mother and I. And then the lower part here is, is commercial space. So um, 
yeah, I had set it up doing another business and whatnot. And, you know, that I needed to put too much effort and time into it. And I figured I'd rather put it into ministry instead. And so anyway, I was just down here doing my own thing, making it a little bit of an office. And then all of a sudden my mother, right when I was still in, in the previous business, my mother said, hey, I had a dream about you last night. I said, really? She said, yeah. She said, uh, I had a dream that you were rearranging the whole place. Like wow. you were transforming the whole place. And I said to her, I said, mom, that's a strange dream because it wasn't on my mind at, at all, all mm. to do anything else with this space at all. And so when she said that, I said, hmm, maybe she's on to something. Maybe the Lord is saying something here. And yeah, we, we the pandemic. So that was a year before the pandemic. The no, this Lord. was a couple of years before, before the pandemic. So I was still in the business. It was a clothing, a ladies clothing business. Way too much effort was being put into it for me. Mm. I, I, I said, no, I'd rather invest in ministry or ministry type things. Um, and so that was during the pandemic. That was during the pandemic. Right, right. In fact, maybe just a little bit before the pandemic hit, I just got this urge to order lighting, order microphones. But wait, order this, like I feel like you were doing a little bit of this or this was not on your radar at all. This, what we're yeah, doing now was not, not on my radar at wow. all. Wow. What was on my radar was the music. So, okay, so music, I was, I was okay. you know, ordering okay. microphones okay, that and, was what and, was. and doing, okay. cutting some records and right, stuff like right, that. Right, right, Which you, Even can, there. you can find out on, um, you can see or listen to on YouTube and also on iTunes, Spotify, all these major music platforms. Please check it out. Check it out. Um, but yeah, the music was what I was looking and studying, studying for. Mm -hmm. And so I'd go to YouTube. I learned how to mix my tracks. Oh, man. That was that was a learning curve. I, yeah, I can that, imagine that. Because, you know, if you hire a producer, you hire a mixer, you, you... My sister's a singer too, by the way. She's coming out with an album. It's sometime. coming out. It's coming out. She's working on it. It's a process. It's coming. It's coming. But but <laughs> yeah, to get a mixer, to get a producer, to get that, all these guys and they charge you just for one track, it's, it's like five hundred dollars. And that's even the lower end. The lower like, end. That's like a great deal. Like maybe Walmart level <laughs> type. Maybe Walmart level. Serious. Type. Oh I'm man. I'm not knocking down you know those who are doing do, doing their craft, but I saw that look. To, if you to, want. I needed to be able to learn how to do this on my own. So I was mm -hmm. studying what software to use, Logic Pro, and all this stuff. And it was like growing pains. I was, it was like painful. Mm. But in the end, I was able to mix my own tracks. And um, amazing. I still thought it was amazing. like mediocre in amazing. a way. Amazing. Until one guy called me, a friend of mine. He's a producer. He's like, so who did your mixing for you? Crazy. And I said, crazy. And I'm thinking that maybe it's a knockdown. <laughs> he's about to do Yeah, he's about low to key. Yeah, he's, about, he's just like, you know what, maybe. There's a problem. Yeah, you need to talk to your yeah. mixer or your, your person. Uh, uh Not quite. And he's like, I said, I mixed it. He's like, really? I said, yeah. He's like, he's like well down. I said, get out of town. Because mm -hmm. in my opinion, it, it still wasn't the what mix you... that I had wanted. You know, I did how many, maybe three three covers and then I think they're all three covers um, on iTunes and I just uploaded it of course the um, what do you call it the website or the people that I used to um, be able to have it onto iTunes and all that they have to veto it a bit oh but I, I don't know if they really if they really veto it or or not or what oh what's to see if it's up to their standards yes oh, oh they even know they did that yes they know they did that they want to make sure they don't hear any like okay, raspiness and bad. crackling okay, and stuff. Okay, 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 okay. But I, I just, I still thought it was mediocre. But I still wanted to release it because I felt that if I wait until it's perfect, you're just never gonna be. I'm never gonna do this. Yeah, you're never. And I, yeah. I was like, I we just, just get push, it, get it out, get it push out, it. get it out, get it so out. So what you say there with the yeah. don't despise small beginnings? Yeah, for sure. That's for it sure. right there. So I, I'm, I'm encouraging you with this word here to mm. keep up your, because she plays. Piano. I mean, oh my all goodness. of us oh, with the pandemic goodness. and everything. We're all like, like musicians and stuff. We're hard to come by and all that. So, 
I was on keys, she's on keys. You got on no guitar. choice. Yeah. On guitar as well. You just like have to do something. Like, yeah. Oh. And like from just four chords, just something small, you can create. Build. You can build on that. And I was at first, you know, trying to learn piano, guitar. I'm like, what is what is learning, you know, these chords gonna do? But in the end, it's been a couple of months. I'm like, oh, okay, I can actually sing some melodies. I can you know, it's, you know, small beginnings. Eventually you build, you build, and then you, you accomplish something that you didn't even know you could. And it sounds so good. Like she has created her own songs, hmm. people. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to slip that, one of the, her clips in there. Hopefully she's recorded something. Please. Yeah, a little so bit. So that people can bit. get a taste. I actually just joined TikTok yesterday. Congratulations. Um, I, TikTok is its own beast but it's apparently it's very helpful with trying to promote you know your songs music content so i decided to give it a try okay and um also small beginnings i'm like what is this you know what yeah, am i doing go for it you know Reach for the skies. Just do it what do is it. it but i'm like you know this let me just try let me put myself out there let me see what what comes out of it so that's new that's try new. try 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 again i need that video that you put on our tiktok it's a you play um, yeah, I'm playing a bit. I'm singing for like 15 seconds, you know, small beginnings. <laughs> oh, small beginnings indeed. Like, really? Small. Like, let's not even go too far. Small, small, small. Okay, so can you yeah. send me okay, that? Yeah. I'll include that in this, um, yeah, this segment yeah, yeah, here of Sister to Sister. That. Yeah, we're all about promoting one another, helping one another mm -hmm. uh, feel good about yourself. Um, yeah, right now especially, people are in so much despair and discouragement. And it's like, you know, the whole pandemic has, well, it seems to have put people back a year. Hmm. And then there's others who have taken what they, you know, was thrown in front of them and been able to add new skills. Right. I yep. mean, yep. develop themselves, invest in themselves. True. Uh, it's pulled creative things out of, out of us. And so, yeah. um, mom, is that you? Mom? <laughs> uh, did you want to come and say hello to the viewers? Oh, like this? <laughs> okay, you could, you could, you could, uh, We'll give you 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll give you yeah, 10 minutes. We can give you 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we can give you 10 minutes. We're having a good discussion here. Yeah. Hopefully it's entertaining to everybody who's mm -hmm. watching. But yeah, discouragement out there. What as a believer can we do? to encourage ourselves especially when you're looking for somebody sometimes you just need someone to encourage you but hmm. you can't find that person mm -hmm. in fact maybe when you call that person wanting to get encouragement they're telling you either they're complaining to you or <laughs> <laughs> they have a fly yeah, there's a fly going on here what is this <laughs> oh my goodness the fly needs yeah. to get out but yeah. anyway um Continue. yeah so what can we do about that what can we do yeah Hmm. Practical things that people can do when they feel discouraged. I think, yeah, there's some encouraging people um, around us. Sometimes we can give them a call. People that we know will just lift up our spirits. Yes, but what if we can't find those? Ah. What if they are also doing... They're <laughs> also not... Oh, you're wow, calling wow, them, but wow, they're not wow. picking up the call. Wow. Um, yeah. So you know, first line, you know, is you as know, a believer, as, as a, a believer is going to the Lord and just letting him know what's going on in your heart and what's happening, like fully expressing your emotion, feelings about what's going on. Right. Um, I journal a lot. Um, I, I, I started, I started and then I stopped and I started now I'm, I'm practicing it and it's a great way for me to release everything. And when I am quiet and still after I've written everything, I feel like God saying something, speaking a word back to me. Okay. Um, and that encourages me, lifts me up. So that's one thing I do to, okay. to help me. Okay. Um, yeah, for me, what do I do? I like to just sometimes putting on some music. Mm. Good, good music. Christian music. Yeah. Yeah. Believing music. Not, yeah. you know, no, nothing against the, like, the, there's some aggressive Christian music out there, <laughs> and that's aggressive. just that's, what is aggressive. You mean the sound, the like sound a lot is, of things. The sound is just so okay. aggressive. 
<laughs> I just I can't I, I can't but sometimes putting on good Christian music is great because guess Soothing, what yeah. when you do that it changes the atmosphere that's true and when it changes the atmosphere then it affects you that's true it affects yeah. you in fact the, the discouragement and all that is usually happening in our soul hmm yeah that's the word it's usually happening in that's our soul word. which is our mind our will and our emotions mm-hmm. that's where the discouragement is happening and I was listening to this wonderful man of God his name is Kevin Zadai you know okay yes yeah. and uh, he was talking about how the soul connects the spirit to the body I was like okay mm. this is, this. and he talked wow. about how it connects the soul connects the spirit the spirit to the body well the soul is connected to the body really yes. through yes. through chemical chemical substances and through electricity yeah I was like that makes perfect oh, wow. perfect perfect sense i mean my background is biology and science so that just it met up right because mm. he said and it's true it's bible because our thoughts affect our body right I, I, in fact i was watching a documentary that said your your beliefs affect your biology yeah yeah that's true so the way you think if you're down all the time depressed it will manifest in your body right That's so true. so your soul is connected to your body mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. and that's why when you're you know you're stressed or, or whatnot you can have different kind of disease ailments. Ulcer, ulcers and like things happen yeah it can affect your vision it's it can true. affect your heart it, it can it can affect your um uh, what you might call it it's in here <laughs> vocal or throat no. No. esophagus uh thyroid <laughs> Esophagus. You know, yeah. you know. Wow. Oh my stomach and all these things. No, sorry, that's it for a cow. <laughs> that's okay. The, what? The, you know what? how the cows have four stomachs? Yes. Yeah, so they have the esophagus. Regurgitate. Yeah, okay. and then they have the omasome. Hey, how do you remember that? How do you know that? She did <laughs> commerce like, in, in, in university. Commerce. This is, this is from high school, like grade nine. For some reason, that the, the cow has four stomachs. It's right. And they it's cannot, stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny how certain things from high school stick. We don't even like, know how. Like, it's like, like it's it's been ingrained. It's like when we when we depart from this life and we go to heaven, we will still carry Have that. Those, four, yeah, yeah. You yeah, remember yeah. that there oh, are four sure. stomachs. I well, that one I will never parts, forget. The stomach. Yeah, I will never forget. Yeah. Just like uh like this, I had this great science teacher. His name was Mr. Vanell. He was like one of the coolest teachers in mm. school, science teacher. And I remember like like yesterday. Weight. What is weight? Weight is the effect of matter on a, hey! on a substance or something like that. I'm like, how is it that that wow. is in my head from like grade seven? That yeah. is yeah okay. yeah I think yeah yeah I think that's what it is. That's the crazy. effect of gravity on on uh, matter. Is the effect of gravity on matter? It's weird. It's weight. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have remembered. It's, 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 I'm sure I learned it, but I yeah don't. Just remember. like how you're saying, there are four stomach, makes, four parts in a st- the stomach yeah. of a cow. Yeah. That's that's really yeah that's <laughs> impressive. That's impressive. Okay, so back 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 to, back back back, back, yeah. back mm-hmm. to uh, discouragement, how to deal with it. So music is one thing. You mm-hmm. talked about prayer, just going to the Lord. Music, music is so powerful. That's why the the devil. The enemy, mm-hmm. the one who's against all humanity, is so into music, and mm. why there's music is like a big industry right, in right, the world, right. extremely, extremely big, because he wants to take it, use it to manipulate mm. people, and pretty much get them on the wrong path. Uh, but can we just interject here, with music? Um, I don't, you know, I just, I want to just, what is it? Inspire discussion music because i just seen this on the news the other day okay um kanye west can we just please go there for a sec 